everyone, my name is Stephanie Castillo and today we're going to be talking about being culturally competent. In order to be culturally competent as an educator, we need to get to know our students on a personal level, um, meaning we need to know, we need to get to know their families, their cultural backgrounds, where they live and in within the community they live in. We need to get to know, you know, the struggles they may face and the opportunities that they may be provided with. And with doing that, we create a deeper connection to our students. And having a connection with our students is very, very important because it creates a safe place. And they feel comfortable in voicing their thoughts, expressing their feelings, and not feel judged about it. Now, when teaching kids from a culturally different background than your own, it takes a lot of learning. Even though we are educators and we're here to teach our students, we learn in the process. I work in a low-income community in a public school. I work with MD kids. So it's very different than your normal mid-class environment. I work with kids from all backgrounds, all cultures, all religions. So... For me, I would say I am culturally proficient because of the different um, cultures that are within my school. Uh, for example, when we were doing our Christmas door, it was the holiday Christmas door contest. But I didn't feel right just doing a Christmas door. I have kids that celebrate Ramadan, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, as well as Christmas. So when creating our door, I was thinking of a way to include everybody. And with doing that, we did How the Grinch Stole Holidays. The Grinch had a back with presents, also with a menorah on in his hand with the candles falling down. We had a fireplace set up with a crescent moon and star and gold. And we also had the candle for Kwanzaa. And I thought, that's a great idea because it includes everybody and doesn't exclude anybody. Now, when teaching these kids, you know, I did my research and found out what kind of candles they use for Kwanzaa, what the menorah looks like, and what kind of crescent moon star is needed for Ramadan. We need to educate ourselves on these cultures, whether that's asking our students questions or doing the research ourselves. I know there's a lot of controversies as well. And whether that be gender identity, sexual orientation, race, language barriers, and just the way we think. It is, it is important that we as educators teach our students to respect each other. Whether you agree or don't, I have my views. But as an educator, I need to teach my students and remind myself to have an open mind, an open heart, and to always be compassionate, be willing to learn and listen, and to always be respectful. I hope this helps. Have a great day.